you're just here for my deck list. If you haven't tried out Decadent Dragon, I highly recommend this card. You can get the top two cards of their library and play them. And when if you have a Chandra out, it can be the top four cards, which is actually pretty nuts. Chandra can help you cast those cards as well by her plus two ability. But we're going to try this card in this Rakdos shell. I think Rakdos can, can still be a great deck. Um, we have pretty much all the standard Rakdos cards. So we got Blood Tithe Harvester, Shieldred, some Graveyard Trespasser, you know, and the removal suite that comes with it. And we got our top end to Breach the Multiverse and Virtue of Persistence can be really nice late game as well as Chandra just, you know, giving you a ton of card advantage. So let's go. Lost the die roll. Don't have anything to do till turn three. Okay, we'll keep it. Mono red. <laughs> GG's. I was going to say, if we're playing mono red, then we definitely lose this game. Okay, well, that's a huge draw. So there is hope. We can kill something next turn, gain, three, gain two life, and then we'll play a graveyard trespasser. Graveyard trespasser is really annoying for mono red to deal with. It gains life, makes them discard a card to get around it. Um, there's another great draw if we can get if we can get to the Shieldred. Virtua Persistence has been really nice. Especially against Mono Red. Now I'd say best of one, like Mono Red is, you know, 60% of what you're gonna play against. All right, looks like they wanted to go fishing for a land and they missed. We'll gain our life. Next turn we'll play Shieldred. If they attack, we'll definitely take that. Force them to discard a card plus use a spell. Sure. Strangle's a really good card for them right here, actually. It's not like they have a land to discard, so they're going to have to discard, like, something. And they discarded a Furnace Punisher? Okay. All right. I guess they're just really trying to find that land. I'm guessing that's a land they put on top. Um, but now you have a Shielder to deal with. And a lot of these mono red decks do carry answers for shield red. Plenty of five damage spells. Or it's usually lightning strike plus a play with fire or something. All right, they're getting desperate, I think. I think this one should be over if they're digging and discarding actual stuff to do we're definitely not blocking if they attack which they didn't so and i can gain four life just from my big score so we're actually just going to pass the turn back you can play shielded and just pretty much do nothing like i'll just answer all your threats and Shieldred will just drain you for the rest of the game. All right, so now they're going to go for it. They're going to Lightning Strike it plus something else. And then in response, we'll big score so we can gain some more life. All right, two Lightning Strikes. Um, I don't want to discard any of these cards, to be honest. But I'm actually going to discard the Go for the Throat, I think. All right, so there's four more life. We can play Chandra next turn. We're just going to go ahead and play Chandra. We'll minus two on this. If they have another way to kill this, that's fine. Ah, oh, shit. I meant to do it to them, too. It's two targets, not one. Always uh, get jump the gun a little bit there. All right, you have one card. All right, it's not good enough to kill my Chandra, so... I think that will be GG's, my friend. Yeah. 
So it's the best possible play. I think I want to get Soren down, and I'm going to minus. We're actually just going to add mana here so we can play our Harvester. And then we will hold up both our Decadent Dragon and Argo for the Throats. And yeah, they drew land, so GG's. Decadent Dragon is so, so sweet. Let me take the top <laughs> four cards from you. I took every, I didn't take any lands from them. That's nice. Let me kill both of your creatures too. Yeah, Chandra's just kind of going ham here. I guess I should have played. Um, I should have played the Swift Sphere first. Oh well. Just a little bit, just a little bit excited right now um, as I'm rounding the bases. Opponents just letting me enjoy it too, like they're not conceding. Thank you. But decadent dragon is so good when you have Chandra out. <laughs> so unfair. All right, GG's man. Um, I think the same's fine. It's probably not great if they're playing mono red. Okay. Yay, it's not mono red. Could be on Esper Control, which our Decadent Dragon is really good when we can take two of their cards. Or they could be on a ramp strategy. Probably five color ramp, I would assume, if they're playing this. Do you have a Stomper? Let's get our Trespasser going. We'll exile this. Why not? We'll, we'll do the drain. I would like to get a creature down before I start trying to use the Decadent Dragon. So I played the Trespasser first over just taking two other cards. Like, this card advantage really adds up when you have a threat constantly attacking every turn. Let's see if they want to block. I assume they don't. Oh, they do. Wow, okay. Pretty happy about that. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and do this now. Ooh, Atraxa. Trax is just good to take out of their deck, honestly. All right, well, let's just try to play our Decadent Dragon. I would like to start getting some tokens going. I could play their Atraxa. Herd Migration. Luca. They can make a 3-3 with Toxic, or they can add mana, or... Yeah, okay. Um... If I attack, I could actually play a Traxa. Actually, no, I can't, because, um, okay. <laughs> I don't have one of my blue sources. Um, so I'm missing a blue source, because I have a token. I have the blue white source, or I guess a white or blue. Um, so in that case, I think, 
think I just like killing there. 3-3. Three, three. I guess I can play their Virtue of Persistence next turn. Can't really take anything other than a Flesh Gorger or my Trespasser. Um, I actually might, I think the play <laughs> is to play the Abandoned Mire or, or, you know, discard it to get back my Trespasser. And then I can start exiling, exiling cards from their graveyard if they just go for that. Okay, well, they didn't, so. What are they going to get? A Bramble Familiar. Mill seven cards, then put a creature. Okay. Creature, enchantment, or land. Are they going to get Lily, or are they going to get my dragon? Going to get the dragon, maybe? All right, so I think I'm just going to big score now. I'm actually just going to discard that. And I'm going to play their Atraxa. Let's discard a card first. Here's your Atraxa. Um, I want Graveyard Trespasser because I want to be able to exile their stuff. All right, well, not, not like the biggest thing there, but not bad, I guess. Breach is pretty nice. <laughs> All right, that's a pretty good draw for them. All right, another Bramble Familiar. Didn't really look like they hit anything other than a Ley Line. Oh, okay, what does this do? When it enters the battlefield, exile another card from a graveyard. When you do, remove counters or opponent gets minus X. Okay, so can they kill the Atraxa? Do they have something that's seven? No? I don't think so. You can kill my Lily, I guess. Oh, I see what they're doing. Okay. They did have seven, and they just wanted to get rid of their invasion. Okay, I made a copy of this. What is happening? Do they have, can they do it again? Wait, how did they get it the first time? I mean, what did they exile? Oh, the, the Flesh Gorger 7. The, they don't have another Flesh Gorger. I only see a six drop for the binding. Yeah, there's six. So they can put it to one. All right, well, that was a cool turn, my friend. That was a cool turn. Now it's my turn.
Do we want Luca or do we want a flesh scorcher? I don't think Luca really does anything. So give me the flesh scorcher. We'll definitely take our Chandra, I guess. Um <laughs> All right, well they'll just concede before we got to have too much fun. GG's. Okay, the sand's not great, but I guess we'll keep it. Mono red, surprise surprise. Perfect draw, just another land. I mean, Shieldred will be really good if we can survive to Shieldred. All right, now we can't kill it because it's a 3-3. Three, three. What does this do? Whenever Pitnik Ruiner attacks while you control a creature with power 4 greater, Pitnik Ruiner gains double strike. Okay. All right, well, ideally they play nothing here, and we can kill this, and then Liliana, their Pitnik Ruiner next turn. God, I'm going to die to Picnic Ruiner, aren't I? We'll just kill that with the trigger on the stack. We're pretty much going to just give them this Liliana. So this is just a trade for less damage. They're going to have to attack it. We're going to get a creature. Liliana, oh, well, Liliana doesn't even eat an attack because Kumano Faces of Kakazan is just so insane. So insane. All right, Shieldred. Have no answer for Shieldred, and it could be huge. We could gain four life just from the big score. All right, that's going to be a big boy. That has double strike. Oh man. No blocks, I guess. Things are not looking good. That's for sure. <laughs> All these stupid enchantments. Man, I don't want a block. I don't want my shielder to die. All right, I'll chomp. Is that what you wanted? I need to gain more life. All right, we're still alive. We're still alive. Hopefully, opponent doesn't draw anything. They drew a storm seeker. Um, let's kill the storm seeker before they get to do that. Picnic Ruiner definitely ruined my picnic. Perfect. Perfect land to draw. We have gained a shitload of life, though, from this Shieldred. I will say that. And now we have a 2-3 lifelink. 
Well, we might be winning this game. Yeah, I can block that with a lifelink. I like that. The sword put a ton of pressure on them to attack this turn. Yeah, I think you have to. And it's going to be costly for you. I wish I would stop drawing lands, though. We'll play their forest. I'm going to attack them. Match 21. <laughs> All right, GG's. Oof.